Welcome back. Well, just doing this one again, but we need to see. We're getting a few erratic readings on the, these gas sensors in the return pipe, in the silencer line. So this is mostly due to dirty sensors. The lens usually gets dirty with uh, oil mist or some dust or dirt in the way. So we've got to take them off, uh, carefully clean the sensors and put them back. So this should give us stable readings. But the most important thing is these are infrared kind of sensors. We need to switch off the power because if they are exposed to bright lights with the power on, there are chances that the sensor will, can, will, and may get damaged. So let's go and identify the powers. Secondary plant control unit. So this is one that's here, J27. This, we will pull out this plug. And the second one is on your auxiliaries. Secondary fuel auxiliary control unit. This one is right here, J34. So J27 and J34. J27 right here and J34 on this guy. So let's go physically, let's go locally, disconnect the power and then head out to the location of the sensors in the silencer. Okay, so all the tools are ready. Yeah, we've got the torques, torque wrenches and yes, this is sanitizer, sanitizer liquid and tissue paper that we would require to carefully clean the sensor. All the second fuel MPCs are located in this cabinet, which is at your scavenge platform. SPCU is what we need to take off. SPCU is J27. That's right there. And SACU1 has J34. Man BNW has made it very easy to identify the terminals with the drawing right there. And the cables also have the terminal numbers marked right there. J34, J27. So this is the reading. And we've pulled out the cables. So the alarm that's generated is this sensor. Because we've taken out the cables from that location which should give you an alarm of this kind signal failure and let's go to SACU and J34 J34 yes so let's go out there and get the sensors clean and get the job done and when you're doing this please don't drop the screw so that it's going to be a task to find them so first things first we need to take off the clamps please don't lose these clamps uh, use the right docks or the allen wrench hex wrench that's there and then carefully pull out the sensor. Once the sensor is out, you disconnect that tube. The function of that tube is to insert test gas when the, when the sensor is in place. Oh, we almost dropped this clamp. Let's keep this carefully. And now we just take off this uh, silver cap, this end cap, take the screws off. Remember, do not drop them and then pull out the black uh, cover. While doing this, you may need to take off your gloves because the dust and the dirt or any other uh, abrasive materials can scratch and damage these lenses so be very careful with the lens as well as that mirror no rocket science in assembling this back uh, just go in the reverse order of the assembly be careful do not drop the screws do not drop any connectors down otherwise it's going to be a task to find them as you can see the oil in the line there's a, there's a bit of carryover from the sealing oil that leaks a bit this is normal, but it can give you false readings. So once in a way, when you see erratic readings on your sensors, the first thing you do is come and clean them. After that, you look for any leaks of hydrocarbon in your system. Okay, we are back and all the connectors have been put back in place. So after cleaning, the readings are 1 and 3%. So 0 and 3 and eventually it will come down to 0. So these are the sensors. 27, the control unit and the auxiliary unit, J34. So the readings are dropping and that means we've done a good job. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more and make sure you read up on the manuals, read up on the drawings and watch the videos as well. Take care, stay safe.